Right guys, back at it again. So I've been doing this all now for two or three days. I think this is the third day I'm on. There's a couple of bits at the side here that's been left from like what I left last time, some sick bottles and there's a couple of all right ones, but most of them are sick. There's a broken cod there. Cornbrook, Manchester, a shame. But anyway, I'm gonna crack on with this all, clear some of this out. It looks like it's caved in since last time I was here. But uh, yeah, I'll get rid of some of this, a bit of a pie dish, and then we'll crack on, see what's coming out. So I've just flicked out what I think is the first bottle. And it's a plain one. <laughs> Brilliant. Still going down though, guys, probably about six and a half foot now. Don't know if we're getting to the fresh yet. This is like, this is the problem with this place. Like I say, it's, it's very deep, but let's have a go anyway. Just a little, little medicine there. But so for those of you who are interested, who've followed my channel for a while, I have still been digging. Um, it's just that at the moment, just uh, crappy ones, but at the moment I've been working on a farm tip, with what I've had permission on, and he doesn't want anybody else on there. He doesn't want his land destroyed. You know what it's like when one digger finds out about it and it's on Facebook or something, every, every blood, bloody person goes and destroys it. But I have got a bit of footage from there that I'm going to be putting on probably over the next few months when it's finished and there's nothing else to go at. Nice piece of bone there, a bit of rib. I'm sporting the um, Bruce Lee look today. Sweating. But uh, yeah, so I have still been digging. It's just that I think I've got like three or four videos from that place. I've not really been doing much else uh, filming wise but hopefully today shouldn't be too bad I've had some nice bits out of here so guys I'm probably about eight foot down now I was just starting to cave some sides and I just started thinking you know there's not much here really not worth wasting my time but lo and behold let's get it out in the sun Manchester Royal Infirmary a nice little hospital bottle. It's a nice thing, I've not had one of those out before. I think I might have to carry on here then. If not, I'll move along and it will uh, see what else is about. Nice plate there, nothing else. So, just had a lovely cave in. It's always great fun, isn't it? So it's now back to, from there to the top, two foot maybe, fantastic. But anyway, just had, Nice little stoneware there, not too bad. And then also, that would have been nice to keep. Patent government, stamped measure, sole patentee and maker, John Tams Longton. Staffs earthenware manufacturer. Have got anything on the bottom? No, still nice that though. Anyway, let's clear this out, there might be some treasures underneath. There's a plain one there. I've just knocked out what I think is a cream pot. I've not actually wiped it yet. Let's, uh, let's get it in here. This looks like one of the Manchester ones, but nothing on it. What a shame. Absolutely nothing on it. Oh well. So I've just knocked a bottle there, so hopefully that's not a bad angle for you. Another bloody plain one. It's not my look today in here. At least we're getting some now. Must mean a bit a little bit of fresh as I've moved forward. I'll just give one a right whack down here. I'm hoping that I haven't broke it. Oh. I don't think I would have minded if I did, to be honest. <laughs> Plain wine or something like that. Oh well. Just had that little heartbreaker out. Absolutely gutting. Looks like it might have been a... Maybe a Simpsons, that. But, anyway, where that's just come out of. I don't know well you can see it down there. Oh, for Christ's sake. 
bit of cod as well. Who is it? Let's just try and get that off there. Holland's Moorside Road, I don't know where that is, it's a Swinton one. With the two swords crossed, let's see if you can get a better, better picture of that. Oh, at least I know I'm in a good spot, I suppose. Just had another cave in. But, look at that. It's a little smell test, there's something coming out of it. I don't know what that is. Oh, it does have some writing on, let's have a look. Let's give it a wipe. Sauvignon, oh my god, I don't have a clue what that says. That must be French. What does that say? A hey. Grandine. Yeah, I'm thinking that's French, that maybe. That's an interesting little thing though, that'll be nice to research when I get back. Lovely. Just what you want, another cave in. <laughs> oh god. That has just come out though. Looks like a, some kind of lock. I'm going to try and clean it up, see if I can see anything on it. But yeah, unfortunately, I think... I thought that might have been a lid then. I think uh, I might try somewhere else. I didn't, not had much luck in here really, it keeps caving in. But, yeah, I'll give somewhere else a little try and then you'll see the finds, I think. Or if anything comes out of the, the other place. Look at them shoes, they've even still got the studs on them. Look at that. So guys, I tried another hole, but it was a bust. You win some, you lose some. It's not been a bad overall day, apart from the bottles I found are sick. <laughs> Manchester Royal Infirmary, I've never had one of those before, so even if it is sick, I can, I can get it sorted. This is a plain cream pot. Still a nice find, might keep hold of that. That's probably the best find of the day. It is sick, really badly sick, but it has enough writing on it and stuff that hopefully I can find something about it. That's nice, little little pipe there, not bad. Clay ball. These I believe are um, little inkwells from the desks, school desks of the children. You know, so you didn't put too much in for them. That's what I believe it is, that's what I've been told it, they are. And then the padlock. Right, so that's it for the day guys. It's not been the great, greatest video obviously, but yeah, can't win them all. Yeah, so as I said guys, not the best video there. These are the only ones I've decided to keep anyway. It's badly sick, but there's always some way of sorting that out. That's obviously a hospital. There's the little link that I said about the kids. If anyone knows any different, let me know. And then, yeah, that's sick as well. I'm not even bothered cleaning it all the way because it's that bad. But it is a French perfume. I believe that is the French Medal of Honour from Napoleon Times. Uh, early, early 1900s, to about 1910, I think this. It's a nice little French perfume though, we'll get it cleaned one day. But yeah, that's it guys, I'll see you on the next one.